Hi, I'm Sharissa, one of the hygienists here at Atlanta Dental Spa, and I am absolutely passionate about the connection between your health, the health of your mouth and the health of your body. And you might have seen in the news or read an article about the correlation between having periodontal disease and cardiovascular risk. And I want to take just a moment to talk about that correlation. First things first, we've got to address inflammation. So inflammation is basically our body's response to any type of assault, whether it's physical trauma like a cut or a scrape, microbiologic invasion like bacteria or virus, it can be environmental like toxins or pollutants, even stress can initiate the inflammation response. Inflammation is our body's first line of defense, and it protects us by increasing blood flow into the area and adding heat to fight off whatever is attacking us. It also promotes tissue healing. Classic signs of inflammation include heat, swelling, redness, and pain. Inflammation at its initial stages is really good because it's designed to help us. But if inflammation is ongoing or chronic, it actually starts to break down our bodies at a cellular level and can disrupt the healing process. Chronic inflammation is the root cause of all disease, and that's why we've got to take it seriously, especially when it happens in our mouths. So inflammation in our mouths is tricky because sometimes it looks like red puffy gums that bleed easily or tender to the touch. Sometimes it smells like bad breath or gives us a bad taste. Sometimes it quietly festers below the gum line, creating tissue irritation and bone loss without any symptoms at all. This is why routine visits to your dentist are crucial. Chronic inflammation and infection don't just stay in the mouth. They spread to the entire body. Let's think about it. Your mouth is the gateway to your digestive tract. It's literally inches from your brain and it's highly vascular, meaning anytime you have bleeding, the bacteria and the toxins that are present enter the bloodstream and have access to your entire body. So for just a moment, let's pretend our body is a house and let's say our mouth is the kitchen. If we were to start a fire in that kitchen, heat, inflammation, that fire, those flames, the soot, the smoke, it's all gonna spread to the rest of the house and set the whole house on fire. And that fire or inflammation throughout the entire body can look like arthritis, Alzheimer's, diabetes, certain types of cancer, heart attack, stroke. It really just depends on where that spreads into the body and how your body responds. So specifically, I wanna talk about the correlation between the periodontal disease and the cardiovascular risk or the heart attack stroke risk. The bacteria that are involved in periodontal disease, they're pretty complex. And they're actually able, when they enter the bloodstream, to penetrate into the artery walls. So if you have bacteria in the artery walls, you have inflammation in those arteries. So if you've got inflammation sitting in the lining of the arteries, and you've got cholesterol sitting there, that heat or that inflammation heating up that cholesterol can actually burst that cholesterol through the artery. Our wonderful immune system says, I gotta do something about this, I gotta take care of this. So it actually forms a blood clot, kind of like an internal scab where that burst happened. If that blood clot is big enough to block the entire flow, that's what we call a heart attack. If it's not quite that big, but it gets caught in the bloodstream and carried to the brain, that's what we call a stroke. Clearly, these can be life and death matters. So let's talk about prevention and how do we decrease the risks. At Atlanta Dental Spa, we use oral salivary testing to determine if bacteria are present that cause that inflammation. We do a clinical screening for any signs of early inflammation, and we utilize advanced, state-of-the-art, non-invasive treatment for when you have inflammation so that we can resolve that and help you get healthy and stay healthy long-term. So hopefully now you understand a little more about this correlation, and hopefully you'll take me up on my invitation to come see us for a thorough examination and make sure that your mouth is free from inflammation.